What's up, guys? A little bit of a different video for you today. We're not going to be talking about Grey Zone Warfare. Instead, we're going to be talking about a new player coming onto the scene for the extraction shooter genre called Delta Force Hawk Ops. It's a new free-to-play tactical shooter that's coming out, and it got announced yesterday during the Steam Summerfest of games that's coming out, that video, that whole announcement that they, they made a bunch of games on, and the trailer dropped yesterday, and, and I took a good look at it because it kind of did gather my attention this morning, and a lot of interesting things to play with it, and I'm going to kind of go over some of that today. So let's dive into that and talk about what you can expect to see from this game, what I saw from a trailer dates and stuff like that and then we can maybe dive into it because i know a lot of you guys watch my channel for extraction shooter games so let's dive into that now so the main thing I'm noticing with Delta Force is immediately the more arcadey style it brings to it. Um, it has more of a uh, DMZ type movement of the game, which I've seen with like the jetpack sliding players around and then like slides getting behind and using slides to utilize movement in terms of gunfights, which I think a lot of hardcore games stay away from in this genre because a lot of them lean for realism. And that's okay because I think in this genre specifically, uh, that's an important thing to have. Um, definitely you want a lot of players to look for the hardcoreness and are trying to avoid any of that arcadey Call of Duty sense. But... With Call of Duty DMZ that came out with Modern Warfare 2 and it only really lasted a year before they kind of scrapped the project and went for more of a zombies approach, I definitely think that left the door open for a lot of a, a big player base. Personally, DMZ wasn't my cup of tea, but I know quite a few people that actually do enjoy DMZ and wanted to hop back on it and or wanted to hop on, back on something because Call of Duty didn't really give them the option anymore. So this seems to maybe try and bridge that gap a little bit closer for those that are looking for that hardcoreness but still like the idea of tactical shooters in that looter shooter genre where they maybe don't have as much time to dedicate to something like Escape from Tarkov. This, I think, is going to be a pretty good... If they can nail this, this is, I mean, this is a big if, right? If they can nail this, they can definitely get a pretty good hefty player base, I think, from those that are looking for that arcadey sense of Escape from Tarkov with movement and stuff like that that reminds me a lot of DMZ. Like I said, I didn't enjoy DMZ that much. Personally, was my, wasn't my cup of tea. I do like more of the hardcore sense of games. However, I don't mind movement and stuff like that being implemented in the games and seeing how it plays out. Going free to play is an interesting play. Um, if you see a game like Arena Breakout Infinite, it's also a free to play game in this genre. And I think it's a really good play to try and get players early on to try your game. I definitely think the biggest issue with free to play is the longevity, different ways of monetization, making your game last long without affecting pay to win elements. Um, the main thing that a lot of players are scared of trying free to play games is they're scared that pay to win is going to affect the game and the gameplay mecha mechanics. Um, I definitely think you can implement microtransactions into a game if it's free to play. Definitely understandable. You got to make money somehow. It's a business at the end of the day. But having pay to win elements isn't really my something that really I think meshes well in this genre. Something like Arena Breakout that decided to go for a subscription method for safe boxes, which if you've played looter shooters, you know what those are. If you don't, a quick rundown. So when you load in with your player, you take gear into what's called a raid. If you die, you lose everything in your character. However, if you have a safe box, which is like a small, normally two by two or three by three box, everything in that box will be safe and you can come back to base and it'll be still still be there essentially. Arena Breakout's going for a subscription method. Without a subscription method, I believe you don't have access to a safe box because they're free to play. So they got to monetize somehow and they chose that that would be the method they monetize. I'm not a fan of that. Um, playing Escape for Tarkov, just having access to the safe box is definitely something I personally prefer. Grey Zone Warfare, same thing. You have access to that safe box whenever you purchase whatever, per whatever purchase or edition of the game you make, you'll have access to that safe box. Being free to play definitely is going to get some eyes, get some attention. And being a shooter, uh, looter shooter, excuse me, in this genre is going to be very important to try and separate yourself from other players. However, the main thing that got my attention this morning wasn't the fact that it was a looter shooter or attack shooter. Um, it was the fact that this game is going to have a separate campaign mode for Black Hawk Down. If you've never watched Black Hawk Down, it's a movie, a war movie from 2001. Definitely go watch it. And if you've never watched it before and you're going to watch it off of my recommendation, come back in the comments and let me know what you think. I absolutely love this movie. Probably one of my favorite war movies of all time. I definitely recommend giving it a watch. However, what I want to mention is this game is going to have a separate campaign mode just for that movie essentially built into this game and it's going to have the realistic setting the realistic firearms and stuff like that from the movie and this is always something that i've wanted to play and kind of experience from ever watching the movie so many times i've always been like man i wish they had a game like that where i could play through a campaign or singles player uh, option of that and they're finally doing it with this game it's going to be a separate standalone option for it you don't have to it's it's, it's totally like you can just play this game for the tax shooter the fact that it's a different base game but it's also going to have that black hawk down campaign i mean that's freaking awesome in my opinion then that was the main thing that got my attention going for this game and obviously i love looter shooters so the fact that i found out that this is actually a tax shooter with an additional benefit of being a campaign mode or having a campaign mode just for black hawk down like blew my mind so i'm super excited for that but back to the game 
since we were just seeing the trailer come out yesterday, there are still some questions that need answers, right? Going free to play is always an interesting question, like I mentioned earlier. How to pay to win elements gonna affect the game? Are they gonna pay? Are there gonna be pay to win elements? Are they just gonna go cosmetics, maybe? Which is, I think, a great decision, by the way, for free to play games. These are things that can help a free to play game monetize, but keep a player base pretty happy as far as like what you're not affecting the, the overall game mechanics of the game and keeping new players coming in, right? So if you think about it this way, you have a new player looking at a free to play game, right? So you have option A, that free to play game is a pay to win so you need to spend money into this game which ultimately isn't a free to play game because while you can't download it for free in order to fully enjoy the game you're gonna have to swipe your credit card right but option b free to play game you get the whole access to the game something like fortnite for example this is a perfect example it is a free to play game you have access to the full game however if you do want to spend money on this game because there are some cool looking weapon skins some cool looking outfits for the operators in the game that's going to be super enticing for some people because they a lot of people like drip in this game man in these types of game they want to look the coolest while they're shooting and killing other players like that's just the, how simple it is like i love having cool looking skins and games and this is like a great option to monetize these games. I have a question for you guys though. This is, I'm curious about what you guys think. Does free to play entice you to play a game or to try it and download it because it's free? Or does it keep you away because you're scared you're gonna have to spend money to enjoy the game still? So like you're scared that's gonna be a pay to win game or or is free to play like something that's gonna automatically trigger you to download something? Like I'm, I'm very interested to see what people are uh, thinking about that. And I'm definitely curious what people's thoughts on free to play are. I know a lot of people share different opinions. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think about um, free to play games. I will say the movement in the game looks spiffy and things like jetpacks to boost you forward and quick slides to utilize movement and advantage in gunfights is something I'm very interested to see how it plays out um, in a tactical shooter, which is what the game is kind of advertising to us is more arcadey, more movement, definitely not just sticking to the hardcore sense and elements of games like um, Escape from Tarkov. So stuff like that, where your movement isn't, you know, you're not sliding around corners and then using jetpacks to get up and using an advantage and stuff like that on enemies. So definitely interested to see how that plays out. But I do think it could be really interesting. I do think something like this is needed in this genre. You don't, you can't have every single game be the same thing of a hardcore looter shooter. Like I said, I love those games, but having this option as well on there is going to be pretty sick. However, I also think you need to be, you know, aware of developers maybe trying to just grab a quick buck and make a game into the attraction genre while it's exploding now and those games aren't really worth your time so that's kind of what i'm here for is trying to give you guys that honest feedback and give you guys those honest reviews of what i think and what games worth your time and that's what i'm gonna keep trying to do so hopefully you guys do enjoy this video um i'll, I'll keep a close eye on this game and i'll keep updating if there's new stuff that comes out on a, on a video or a, on my live stream or something like that but make sure you stay tuned here on youtube make sure you drop that like down this video if you did enjoy it make sure you drop that sub as we're almost so close to 5,000 subscribers on youtube that's insane to me i just um i want to say thank you for all the support guys make sure you guys also follow me on twitter as i'll make sure updating stuff like that on there as well for games and make sure you guys join the discord we got an awesome uh discord that we talk about for example our main game is gray zone right so we talk about gray zone but we also talk about stuff for the community in there right so make sure you guys hop in there as well um but i won't take any more of your time up guys i appreciate you guys watching the video and i appreciate all the love and support as always um i'll talk to you guys later and i'll see you guys in the next video peace